Well, I guess this is probably going to be like an add-on at the end or something, but I found the red tree. Just ran around it a bunch. The desert was really annoying. Eh, I'm glad I have the first move thing. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Okay. What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. <laughs> what? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay. I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. There's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spend your three times inside that- You're kidding! A house with a rolling roof. I don't take dreams seriously. I do! To the house with the whirling roof! Uh, I guess in the next episode? Or in a different episode? I don't know what the- uh, Whatever. Bye! Hey again! So, um... I did the triple thing, and then he had a badge. And then he's like, you should put that badge on, and I'm like, okay. Change your partner member and attack with it on that turn. Okay, super useful. Probably. Hopefully. Uh, badges. How much is this worth? It'll be in utility at the very bottom. Uh, what is it? Quick change. Oh, it's four. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, really quickly, because I don't want to have like six recordings I'm going to put together. Let's jump over. So I went to Dry Dry Desert, and I got a bunch of star pieces. Words mocking me. I need that dictionary. <laughs> they are all going at it, aren't they? So what we need to do, we need to head to the original Goomba place where we fell. And we have a letter for Goomba. So if you guys remember Colorado, the... Koopa, um, he was the guy who pitched out his tent and he was like the scientist. So after we beat chapter 3, he left that spot and we gave him the letter. So now he's like just gone and I hit, hit the tree with the hammer that he was sitting on. Which made it so that he, uh, which gave me a star. And then there was a rock whirlwind spot on the road during the path to whatchamacallit, <laughs> I hit the spikes and I didn't take damage cause I'm OP oh done well I guess we'll just have to fight, I don't know how, oh my god, wait, I have paracarry I might not actually be able to do this nope, I'm not able to do it well that's fine um, so there's part of the road is like a rock and a whirlwind so if you ground pound in front of that rock it'll give you a star piece and then when I was in town uh, I did the red tree thing I think there was something else actually I probably forgot a star piece <laughs> oops oh jeez there's so many of you I'm actually gonna run away from Koopas luckily I have like max a hundred percent when you get a hundred shouldn't it just like let you run away automatically Alright, so we're looking for Goompa. Also, I have my game audio turned down, but that's fine. Uh, howdy, Mario. How's my grandpa? Good morning. By the way, I named the lad after you, Mario. Always wanted my son to grow up strong with you. He went a little bit overboard. Now he's just way too energetic. Ha ha ha. So you're a Goompapa, right? The name is Paracary. I delivered letters. I believe I have one for you. So here's the letter that we found in the dry, dry forest. Oh no, we got the letter from the tree that Colorado did. Another letter duly delivered. Alright, great news. Fishing is one of my hobbies. This is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait. Sorry to pile work on you, but I, can I give you a letter? Must he? He hangs around the castle garden. Alright, uh, we can do that. I guess. Luckily, it's a quick trip. This is actually going to be part of the episode, I guess. I was thinking of tacking it on to the previous episode, but... I feel like I should probably turn on the audio, but I'm lazy, and hopefully this won't take too long. God damn it. The problem is I can't actually use paracarry. Like, look at this, right? Oh, I got it! Oh, now I'm really sad that I accidentally hit do nothing. I mean, I did it on purpose. 
So Shell Shot is apparently OP. Uh, later on, when you uh, get power ups, it increases the damage of that ability to six. So, and apparently he's also the best member to upgrade. So now I feel bad, but honestly, it does, he doesn't feel like a very good member, you know? Hammer to flying dude, jump on the spiky dude, why not? You know? Alright. He doesn't feel super... Why is that spring there? Seems very odd. This is something Mario games do a lot. They just give you something so you're familiar with how this thing works. Even if it's just like stupidly obvious, you just want to make sure that you know how to jump on a spring. And if you get stuck on that part of the level, you'll feel like such a nub. It also shows the secrets. Which, oh my god, the spin is so long. <laughs> Among other things. Okay, so let's go. He hangs out in the garden? Hold on, who's this guy? Uh, Shy Guy took my, over my shop, my prison shop. Get the Shy Guy out of my shop. Uh, sure. Hee hee, welcome to Shy Guy's shop. Too bad I'm not gonna sell you anything to you, Mario. Cool. Poor me. This is getting really annoying. Alright, thank you so much. Aw, no super deals. Okay, that's fine. I did the arcade thing again, and I got, like, 400 coins out of it. Not 400, I got, like, I want to say 300. And then, you know, you get the bonus 100 coins for completing it. So, let's see. Castle Garden. Is that this guy? Because his garden's destroyed? Uh, you're a must-tee, correct? Name is Paracry, I deliver letters. Have one for you, just wait a moment. Sweet. Another love, another letter duly received. A postman's job is never done. Oh, it's Mr. Goompapa, that old cougar we think like he and I. It's been ages since I saw him too long indeed. I was just thinking of sending a letter to one of my other friends. It's Coover and he lives in Cuba Village. Near the entrance. Hangs on from the toad house that's right on the edge of town. It would be nice if we got it soon. I guess we're going on a super mission. <laughs> oh god. I can't. I don't care enough about... Uh, is there anything happening in the post office, actually? Stop thief. Hammer! Oh, come on. So I'm guessing all of this we just have to get later, right? I feel like I should visit every house now. It's like, is he gonna rob the bed? Oh no. Cool. Yeah, Shy Guy's out. Don't worry, guy. So at least some of the basic functional stuff we can get rid of, right? To Koopa Village. I feel like there's probably a bunch of secrets I should check out while I'm here anyways. It's going to be quite the side quest filled mission. Oh man, I'm hit by first strike. I actually took damage. What? I will wreck you now. Also, I'm gonna turn up the audio because it's seems like we're gonna be here for a while. I'm worried that there might be a fourth part for this. Wrecked. Spin! Wait, so town's down here. What's with these three blocks? There has to be something secret here, right? If I can just get this stupid thing right. 
Alright, so you. How's things going on? Going swimmingly? Your Coover, Hair Carry. I have one for you. Here you go. Another letter. Duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. I swear I give him a new voice every time. It's not intentional, but. Would you look at this? It's a letter from us to you. The two of us are listening to you on the same lines. If you don't fish, you should, and they think I was just about to send letters of all my fishing drawings about a trip. Once we have a good place to sit, I'll write a letter back to Musty. Could you send this along for me? It's always fishing at Toad Town Port. He's easy to find. S uh, a fish meal. Yep. We all know who that is. Okay. So before we really do anything, I'm going to look around for secrets, and then we will. Uh, I'll look at the wiki and all that, and I'll be right back. Well, back again. The little wiggler's not. Where the you go? Alright, so, fishing at the port, ah, this must be you. The name is Paracarry, I deliver letters, I have one for you. Another letter, duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Huh, what's this? Jeremy Tumbers, word from Hoover. Must see, said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip, you should come along, Mario. But he delivered this to him. Him? Why did Koopa Troopa ask you to bring the letter? Hoover's the name. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> that'll be something to possibly do unless I feel lazy and just go do the next episode because I feel like going to sleep right now. Night! We could do the Koopa quest, but I discovered something interesting. Oh god, that scared me. So, this thing down here is some kind of super deadly challenge thing. It was just like, you fight a bunch of mobs and then you get stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's supposedly really hard unless you have the feeling fine veg. Blooper! So this is apparently how we get the fast travel. And I just realized I don't have Goombario out. I have Paracarry because I need to deliver the mail. Alright, so let's uh, get an Electro Blooper. Electro Bloopers are Electro Charge? It doesn't look Electro Charge. Attack Power 4, HP 50. When they're emitting electricity, it'd be smart to avoid contact with them. If you manage to damage them while they're emitting they'll continue to go back to normal. Attack power at 6, I guess. Oh, I don't know this guy's patterns. That could be a bit, a bit of an issue. He's a mini-boss, right? I should be able to shrink him. <laughs> I didn't even pull it off. That's kind of dumb. Wait, but I don't have anything that can damage him while he's electrocuting. I can't jump on him. What? How do I attack? I can Thunderbolt. Does that work on him? Okay, yeah, he just goes back to normal. Now, if only I could land my combos. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Luckily, I have Shrink Stomp, which makes him super not good. Dang, again? Really? So I can't jump on this guy for sure, right? Oh, I can, and it still deals damage, but I get one damage back. Okay. Fair enough. I need to wait for him to get Electrified before I do Shrink Stomp then. Because it seems like when he's whenever I use String Stomp, he just gets electrified, and that totally defeats the point of String Stomp. Because by the time he's back, he's just like, nope, not gonna worry about that String Stomp thing. Oh god, he's electrified again. Alright, String Stomp. I can tank a bit of damage, luckily. Oh, the String Stomp thing didn't go... He's actually beating me up, now that I look at my health. Um... Hopefully he doesn't get electrified again, because I should be able to just finish him now. <sighs> God damn it! I don't have a counter to you! I... Screw you, guy! So hard! 
Oi, oui, oui. French Star Storm. You did? Two stars. 20 stars. Sweet. Alright. That's good. And this is the fast travel. So, saw all these little pipes and we were like, oh, fast travel maybe? I guess these are. Ooh, snowman doll. Super useful. I don't know what's up here. I kind of want to save. Because I really don't know what's here. Those guys look super strong and I don't want to fight them. Okay, but after this is just a block that I'm going to need another upgrade to my hammer to do. Hey look, a chest. So it was worth coming down here. That's good. Power smash. Okay. That's hopefully better than charge. Because charge is kind of not good. Frankly. I should probably fight them and identify them. Although I think I might have already. Oh, ceiling. Okay, we're good. So, I believe the middle one is Koopa Town? Okay, sweet. So we just need to go to the front of the village. By the way, it turned out I found there was another Star Beast. Um, right? He oh, look, this guy. Save. Uh, hold on. Before we go quiz. Oh! No, I want a quiz. Okay. So, right by these guys, if you ground pound, you get a star piece. Which, I'm not sure how you're supposed to know, but you know. Yeah, I want to try the quiz. So this guy gives you a star piece every time you do the quiz, which is super nice. So I've been seeing him everywhere. It's to the far left. Uh, strategies. I would hope so, that's like what the entire game is around. I mean, I, I would hope I know that because the combat is what the entire game is around. Okay, this guy appears really often. I've been just constantly doing that. So let's save. Uh, so yeah, let's talk to him. Hopefully this is the end of it. Alright. Paracarry! How are things going, Mario Swimmingly? Uh, I have a lever on you for you. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks! It's from my pal. This must be an answer. Speed of delivery, now I can send the letters in here. It'll be a great meet meeting with all the guys fishing up a storm. Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He wears a blue turban. Ugh, dry, dry outpost? Okay, I guess. So, this should be made much easier with the fast travel thing. It's kind of cool. When I saw those pipes, I thought it would have something to do with Luigi, right? Guess not. Oop, this isn't where I want to be. Bye! Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna have so many video files. Uh. Oh, this isn't the place I want to go. Uh, where is it? It's like this house, right? With the guy with the blue turban. There's someone in the district, a stone cactus. If you move to some, you'll find something special hidden. I know lots of useful stuff. Okay. Uh, in first toad house? It's a dude with a blue turban, right? This guy? I love this town and I don't hear it as a heart, so there's no place like home. You're Mr. E, correct? The name's Farrakari? Uh, here's your letter. A postman's job is never done. Alright, sweet. Looks like an order from Cooper Village. My job is to delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer, he's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, deliver this letter to Miss T. They're all Miss T. The three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's one of the tiny letters in front of Jojo. How long does this quest go? <laughs> it's 
a good thing I found out about this uh, sis wait, transport system. It's also a good thing that they made the game center around Toad Town so much. Like, to make a central hub like that is really useful. Alright, so she's in front of the dojo. Wait, how do we know which one she is? They're all Miss T, right? Uh, they should be down here. <laughs> Those aren't women. Oh, wait, the dojo's not here. Dojo's. Nope. Okay. Where's the dojo? I thought it was this way. It must be like up to the left of Merlin's house. Maybe? Oh, we should probably try and take on that dude. The dojo master. This episode might already be like 10 minutes, to 20, 30 minutes, so. Yeah, so here's the dojo, alright? And so here's the sisters. Alright, so this is just trouble. I've had it. Why do shy guys have to be such pains? I used to think your tricks were cute, but this is too much. I sense something fishy, something's different. Uh, something fishy, sniff sniff, I don't smell any fish at all. Um. You are Miss T, correct? The name's Paracary, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh, well, I'm going to... I'm getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. I'm lucky I... I'm so lucky I just came across you, Mr. Westman. I want you to deliver this to the shop owner, Dry Dry Outpost. I order a lot of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's not easy staying this moment. Will you please deliver? Thanks. I guess? Question mark? I just want to finish the quest. So I'm actually just going to go do it and not worry about the master dude. I kind of wish we could use the cooking place and the everything, you know? Like I kind of want to get on with the story so I can open up the darn bag shop. Because I have all this money and nowhere to put it. Ah, hashtag ga rich gamer problems. Alright, let's get over here. Shop owner. Luckily, he's not too far away with the whole transport system. Yo! Welcome, traveler. This is Shuna. Alright. You're the owner of this shop, correct? The name is Peregrine, I deliver letters. Here you go! Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, this is my order sheet. A good deal. She's one of the best customers. You can't beat desert lemons and limes. Yeah, it's cool. Or you can just make a juice of those things. Can you do me a favor? To the boo called Frankie, who lives in the mansion to farm for everyone, and maybe tough to find him. Thank you. Forever Forest. I don't have a warp pipe there. What? Do I have a warp pipe to Forever Forest? No, I don't. What? Why you do this? Dang it, dude. Nah. I'm gonna really quick just check and make sure there's no, like, TP past the whole forest thing, because I don't want to bother solving that puzzle again, honestly. Uh, really quick, it's just up here. There's not, like, a warp pipe here, right? Because that would be super useful. Nope. Okay, not even gonna bother. <laughs> Maybe if we get like an upgraded hammer or like a super upgraded jump, I'll bother. But for now, thank you all for watching. I don't know what we'll do in the next episode, but I'm tired of this one male side quest. So we're not going to bother with that. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the stuffs. I'll see you guys in another video.